Dave, an tachtan sha by midjig fallum fuin briher tour. This week we're going to be learning about the verb tour, to give. It's an irregular verb like all of the ones we've been doing lately, so you're going to need to pay attention to see how it changes. Ocker dus tomij consul shir a kahav iran im shirkacha realta. But first we're going to have a look back at the regular I'm Shirkacha so we can see the differences between fek, which is an irregular verb, and these regular verbs, which are the normal way to do it. So erdus ta isaguin sa I'm Shirkacha kurin muj h er chumsen no d er gutta. So it's a h for a consonant if it's one of the consonants that can take it. And remember, they can't all take a h or a de-apostrophe on a vowel. The only other real difference in the I'm sure Katja is that when we're using shin or mwij, we, we add on an ending. So we get our shin and our mwij and we kind of absorb it into the verb. This happens in the other tenses as well. And it also happens in the I'm sure lawhruk with me. But in the I'm sure Katja, the only time we do this is for we. So how do we do it? Well, it will depend on whether it's lahan, broad, or quail, narrow. And it will also depend on whether it's kaid rimnu, which is that first group, which are mostly the one syllable verbs, or dara rimnu, the second group, which are mostly multi syllable verbs. So let's have a look at our endings for lahan, kaid rimnu. Amur, A M A R. For example, Runamur, we closed. Now our quail ending is Amur, but it's spelt with an E. Like Vrishamur, we broke. Then when we go into our second group, which like I said are usually multiple syllable verbs, we knock off the Ig on the end and we add Iamur. Like kyaniamur, we bought. See the ig part of kyanig is gone, and now we have our eamur. For our quail ones, it's eamur again, but without the a because it's narrow. Like valiamur, we collected. When we're asking a question, we use air. For all of the other tenses, we use on, a n. But this is the big difference in the I'm sure catch it's air. Air rune to. Did you close? If I want to answer that positively, I just give the verb right back to them. Remember, there's no yes and no in Irish. So I'll say, Rune me, I did close. But if I didn't, I'm gonna say near. Again, this is a difference in the I'm sure catch it. In the other tenses we say knee, but in the I'm sure catch it, it's near. Near rune me. I didn't close. Anish on I'm sure Loihruk, the present tense. Remember, not I am going to the shops, more like I go to the shops every week. Now, we have an ending in the I'm sure Loihruk, and we use that ending for me, to, she, she, shin. Mwij, shiv, and shiid. We can use this ending for any of them, okay? And it's on. Do non. Here again, it's on, but with the e for the quail version. Brishan. In our two syllable group, ian. Kyanian. And again, ian, but with the a knocked off because it's narrow. Balian, Dunan, Brishan, Kyanian, Balian, Dunan to on Fwinyo Gok Iha, you close the window every night. Brishan to the Pian Lui Gok Shokten, you break your pencil every week. Kyanian to Bruntanus Gok Nullig. You buy presents every Christmas. Bali and she in a copolar egg dera on lay. She collects the copies at the end of the day. 
Now, we can use that ending for me, but there is also a specific other ending we can use for me. Um. Dunum. Um. With the A gone. Brisham. Eum. Kianium. Um. Valium. And as we know, there's always a separate ending for shin and wedge for we. Like I said at the start, you can actually use that first ending and just write sh shin with it. So you could say dune and shin or brish and wedge, but this is really a better way to do it. So it's amige, dune amige, we close. Image with the A missing for the narrow one. Brish image, we break. E image for our two syllable ones. Can e image, we buy. Image. Bali image, we collect. And a slight difference here in our I'm sure Leuchruck, our present tense, it's on, not air, it's on for a question and knee for no. Okay, now we're going to look at the I'm sure Oshinuk, which is the future tense. We haven't done quite as much work on this as the other ones, and we will be doing more work on this in the future. But just like before, we have one ending that we can use for any of our persons. We can use it for may, to, she, she, Shin, Shiv, or Sheed. And it's this. Now, you're looking at this and it looks like Fade. But you'll hear the way I pronounce it now. Doon He. Now, you can pronounce it as a He or a Fee. Most people would say He. So it's Doon He. Doon He To. You will close. Here it is again. You notice it's missing the A because it's narrow. Brish he. Brish he she. She will break. O we. For our two syllable ones. Kiano we. She it. They will buy. O we. This time it has an E because it's narrow and it's missing its fada because it doesn't need it. Below we to you will collect. Now for the I'm sure Ashnuk there is no special ending for me, so we can forget about that if we're saying me, it's Dun he may, Brish he may, Kino we may, Balo we may. But as usual we do have a special ending for we. Hamij or Hamij Dun Hamij Here it is again Thamij or Hamij both pronunciations are correct missing the A because it's narrow Brish Hamij O Hamij Okay you can see how that relates to the OE up above it's like the OE ending but with a Mij on the end so, Kenoe Mij. And you can probably guess what's coming next. O Mij with an E. Balo Mij. Just like our I'm sure Leuchruck, our question is on. And our negative answer is ni. It's only in the I'm sure Katja that's, that's different, where it's air and near. So, Again, like last week, why am I telling you all of this when we're going to be looking at an irregular verb now? It's so that you see the patterns of how it's supposed to be. And then when you go and look at the irregular verb that has its weird little differences, it's much easier for you to remember the weird little differences. If you know how something should look, it's easy to p figure out when it looks different. Okay. Okay. Anish, buggy midge, arrive. Go tour. We're going to move on to tour. 
because that's the verb we're learning about this week. Tour, the verb to give. Now, when we have a look at the I'm sure Katja, you will see that it looks a lot different from the name of the verb. So the name of the verb is tour. And we would use that if we were given an order. So you would say tour dum on Coplar. Give me the copy. Tour dum mulvusk alone. Give me my lunchbox. But in the I'm sure Katja, it looks very different and it's hug. I always remember it. Hug means to give, like giving warm hugs. So hug. Hug me, hug to, hug she, hug she, and then hug a mer for we. Now our question here, you might remember from our other regular verbs, the question was on. But really, when we're looking at the past tense, the question should usually be air. So here it's actually playing by the rules. Air hug. Did you give? If you did give, hug, hug me. Air hug to Bruntonus Doe. Did you give him a present? Hug me, I did. Or near hug, I didn't give. Again, for regular verbs, we always use air and near for the past tense. The last few verbs we've looked at over the last few weeks have been irregular, so it has actually been on the knee. But tour, even though it is irregular, does play by the proper rules. So we say air for the question and near for no. Now, an I'm sure Leuchruck. Remember, I'm sure Leuchruck, something that happens regularly. Tugum for me, but you can also say tuggen me. This is something I've been noticing people having a little problem with, where they're saying tugum me. But tugum includes the me. So if we say tugum me, it's like saying I, I give. So you can say tuggen may or you can say tugum just by itself and then it's tug and to tug and she tug and she tug and she it and tug and we give now our question for the i'm sure loyhruk and for the i'm sure Oshnuk usually is on and usually has an uru so on duggan tugum i do i do give or tugan for tug and to tug and she and the negative answer, ni hugum, ni huggen. So again, on for the question and ni for the negative answer. Now, I'm sure Oshnuk, we're talking about the future. And here we can see it looks very different. If you pay close attention to it, you'll see that it looks like the root of the verb, the name of the verb, tour, but the I is missing to make it broad, to make it Latin. So it's tour he, or some people would pronounce the F and say tour fee. So tour he, I will give. Tour he may, tour he to, tour he she, tour he she, tour famid, or tour hamid. Again, some people pronounce that second F like a H, some people pronounce it like an F. They're both correct. Tour hamid. The question on with an oru. On door he, tour he, I will give, ni hoor he, I won't give. So that's tour, the verb to give. Inish tamuj confekant eran fuckle do. We're going to look at the word do, which means to. Now do means to, not like I am going to the shops, because we know that that's tome dol goodi na shopi. Dot means to, like, giving something to somebody. And it's very important for our verb this week, tour, because that means give. So you're always going to be using do with it. Now, this is a little word. In English, this would be called a preposition. But unlike English, the Irish prepositions change depending on which person you're talking about, whether you're talking about me, you, he, she. OK, so we're just going to look at the first one, which is to me. So we're talking about me. Hug she pion dum. He gave a pen to me. So do, which means to, changes to dum if you're talking about me. To me. Hug she pion dum. Hug me on lower. Ditch. 
I gave the book to you. So ditch is to you. Hug me and Larry ditch. Tugum bruntinus do gok bretla to him. I give a present to him every birthday. Tugum bruntinus do gok bretla. Tugum to arrogid d gok shakton. To her. I give money to her every week. Tugan to Aragid D. Gokshakton. Turhi she loan. Doon Amoric. To us. She will give us lunch tomorrow. Turhi she loan. Doon Amoric. Turhi she oberwalye. Div Amoric. To you plural or you lot. He will give homework to you tomorrow. Turhi she oberwalye div amorak. Turhi she bregan doiv amorak to them. He will give presents. He will give toys to them tomorrow. Turhi she bregan doiv amorak. Now, if we want to say to, but we're not talking directly about me, you. So, like to. Roscoe, we're using a name, or to the teacher, we say do. So, air hug to knov, do Roscoe. Did you give a bone to Roscoe? Air hug to knov, do Roscoe. Now, if we wanted to use a word where we would need to use the word de, so air hug to knov, do on madra because we need the on for the dog do and on becomes dun air hug to knov dun madra so i hope that makes some sense to you please remember when you're writing your sentences this week that if you're using the verb tour you are going to need to use this word do as well because it means to okay good luck with that